Hello, my name is Garner Gehring and I am an exchange student from the United States of America spending a year here in Denmark and I would like to say Velkommen til Vorbesser. So this is where I will be spending pretty much the first couple months up until about mid-November of my time in Denmark. I get to live in this beautiful small little town. It's only about 1300 people, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I'd like to just show you around a little bit. So like I previously mentioned, Vorbesse is a very small town and a lot of the people living here have lived here their entire lives and their parents before them have lived here their entire lives. Actually, my host mother here is a third generation Vorbesse Dane. All right, so right up ahead is what would be considered downtown Vorbasse. Actually, right here is where I pick up the bus every morning to head into school in Greenstead, which one of these days I'll have to make a video showing you my day-to-day -day life of getting to school and what a typical school day looks like here in Denmark. So another big thing that I've seen is pretty common in a lot of the towns here in Denmark is that they all have some sort of fitness center. So this here is the fitness center in Vorbasse where I can do swimming, there's a gym, all sorts of stuff, pretty much anything I could need. And then also on the side, there are a bunch of fields and other fitness equipment. Then right across on the other side of the street here, you have a campground if you ever wanted to come and camp here. Now, if you ever find yourself in Vorbasse, you'll probably run into this big open area that looks like some sort of fairground, and you would be completely right. For a few days over the summer, they take this whole area, and it goes on for much further than you can see on camera, and convert it into the Vorbasse Market, which is a big festival that can bring anywhere from a quarter million to more than half a million people into this town to celebrate. But for the rest of the year, it just sits here empty. All right, but I think that's enough about the town and now it's time to show you actually where I live. So this is our driveway here and you can see all of this farmland which belongs to the family I'm staying with. So then after walking down the driveway, we get here which is where I'm living for a year. So this here is the main house. Here is our dog named Bunny. And then here on the far left, it's just kind of a big garage, as well as there's a couch set up for if there are any parties or anything that can happen in there. And then here to the right is where there are chickens, horses, and that's where all of the animals live. So you can kind of see in the garage here. And then also being that we're on a farm, if you come around this side, you can see all of the tractors. The lighting isn't the greatest in there, but you can see the tractor right here, a little go-kart, and then more back in there. They also have a combine harvester that they don't keep on the land, but we went to visit it yesterday. Now walking into the barn, you can see the chickens as well as the horses. And it goes on for pretty much as far as I can see. This is all farmland owned by this family. They also keep bees over on the other side of the house, which is cool. Now, I'm not going to actually go in the house with the camera because, of course, I'm not the only one living here. And I don't want to intrude on their privacy and that kind of stuff. But it is a very nice house that they just redid in 2016. So a lot of the things are brand new. But here we are after about a year of hard work, a lot of applications for visas and everything of that sort, getting signed up for Rotary. I finally get to say that I'm here in Denmark and that is better than anything I could have hoped for. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully there will be a lot more to come. If you have any video ideas, please comment them because I'll probably do them. And uh, we says.